Hello and welcome back to Hearthstone Arena. So for this video I'm going to do a different format than I've done with uh, my other ones so far. Uh, I'm going to start from the beginning, from the draft, record every bit of the draft. And then after I do that I will, like whenever it's like a slow part of the run, I'll like pause the recording and then I'll come back to when it, when it gets interesting. And then, you know, if I get deep at some point I may just start recording everything. Uh, what's uh, hopefully I get deep and, and that's when the challenge picks up and so every move becomes more important uh, Priest is my favorite class I played a lot of Hearthstone Arena I've been on the leaderboard three times and uh, this was probably it was one of the last classes I learned to play well and now it's my favorite one uh, so I think a lot of people probably don't really know how to play Priest very well and I, I was someone that was advocating playing for playing Priest when it was horrible, like you know, a few weeks ago. And uh, it was the worst class in win percentage, and now it's the best class right now in Arena, after the micro dress. So, the goddess calls. I this will be fun. Oh boy. <laughs> so we already got a tough choice here. This premium card in Priest, you love this card. And I need draft. This is a really good card too. It's just, the only problem is it's situational. So, sometimes it's not a good card. Cleric is pretty much always a good card. I mean, I guess if you don't have the board, Cleric can be, can be not that great too, but it's still, it's still a 1-3. Hmm. You know, I think Graver may be better, but especially if I'm trying to teach how to play Priest, I mean, this is a standard card or Priest. So I think this is a pretty good card in this situation. I think it's really close, honestly. So... This is not close. This is a Temple Forcer. So, alright. The number one thing in Priest... The most important thing for any minion is health. So, because your hero power is so good when you have the board. Or even when you're fighting for the board. And you're able to heal your minions and keep them alive. And, like, if you have the board, that, that often can just mean, like... People can't take it back from you. You know, they, they would be able to whittle down, like, a big minion. But because you keep healing it, they can't. And they just lose. So okay, this is this for sure. I've actually not played too much with the with the, the new cards. Well, this is a cleric now. About like, probably about like a week and a half ago, uh, I I finally got like my first priest run after the micro toss. It was like my it was like my 15th game after that. So I guess I played a bunch right when it happens. Or not the micro, or it was the micro trust and the new minions coming in. But. Yeah, let's see here. So this is solid. This is, this is better than solid. Only problem is curve is pretty important, especially with two clerics. But yeah, we'll, we'll go to the scale in. Easy smite, because my cards are really, really, really bad. So this is a little bit better in Priest. But it's still, like, if you played on turn 5, it's like a 5 mana 4 5, so it's not that great. But. So that's it does with this a little bit. This will be my third five drop this early. That's that's kind of rough. This is definitely the best card. I think I think it may be this right now though. It seems a little early maybe to be dropping. Maybe I shouldn't. Maybe I just don't know how good this is actually. I'm gonna take a take a peek actually at the win percentages. I don't know if this is like insane or not. Wow, so actually in win percentages, this is actually outperforming this barely. I would still say this is a better card. First pick, I would definitely pick this, but you don't want too many fives, so. Huh. So none of these are great. There is some dragon synergy. 
Yeah, there's a bunch of cards out there that synergize with having a dragon. So I'm going to take this, cause, just because I think it's really close. There we go. Uh, so I have two dragons right now. I think it is this. You know, Shadow Madness and certain types of priests is a great card. This is nuts. <laughs> that's a that's a three minute concentration if you have a dragon. And this would be my first two. It would also be a good pick. This seems like a bucket choice. No, 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 not a bucket. But let's see. I think it's just this. I mean I, I really like playing control priests. Which I'm not really looking like yet, but I wanna leave that door open. Okay. Mind control, when I play Priest at least, you basically never pass the first mind control. I mean, ever. Like, if, if you're passing on mind control, it's like, why are you playing Priest? I don't know. I like playing control. This is this is kind of what I'm looking to build towards, so. Oh. In this meta? I think I want the Devour Mind. Yeah, checking out the win rates on uh, it just replay. It's really close. Cobalt was a little, a little bit higher, which I would expect. But I'm gonna take it to our mind. There's the thing is, there's only really one card that does this, and that allows you to be really greedy, or that it, that really that makes you greedy, not allows you to. So it, it gives you that that value, so you don't need to worry about so much with some other stuff. So I like it. This is just a soul priest because I really need a four. Huh, wow. <laughs> okay, you can't feel the strength. <laughs> you can feel the, the micro adjust because like it's like I'm constantly having to choose between like really good cards. <laughs> so my goodness. I would like I would be happy with any of these three. I think it's maybe the Nova because spells like like the last priest I drafted got like offered no spells and it's just like I don't know if I'm gonna get another pick card like this whereas these are just bodies so twin tyrant it's a beast well or it's, it's a dragon but I mean it's it's a beast of a card so my first two. But in Priest, I would so much rather have a 2-3. Like, like, in Priest, you want things that stick. I kind of like this better, because what Priest has a hard time doing is sometimes reacting. Yeah, I like this better. Okay, so these cards are both not very good. I do have some dragons. Three. And if, if that discovers a spell, oh, from your deck. Still, though, if I get a Nova or a Mind Control, that's pretty darn good. Or Devour, maybe. Well, this is this, obviously. Really good three. It's statted the way you want it to be statted. And the effect, the effect is good, too. I mean, honestly, like, I've played so much Hearthstone that this effect, like, really screws me sometimes. Because I am, like, 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 yeah, there's the Saboteur that does it for one turn. But, like, three turns later, I'm not used to anything ever affecting the cost of your hero power. So sometimes, I'll, like, it'll be turn six, and I'll plan out my, my move in my head, and I'll be like, okay, I play the four drop, and then I go use my hero power. And then I can't use it because someone played this. Because it's just, it's not, it's so different for Hearthstone. So this can really screw you up. Nice. Dragon Synergy, perfect kind of drop. The not being targeted thing kind of sucks as a priest, but it's still good for defense. So. Damn. What could I have had? Cobalt? 
Yeah, now I wish I could take the Cobalt <laughs> and take the Devouring Mind now. But this is actually a fine card. In Control X, this is actually good. I don't think you can take a second Devouring Mind, so I think you gotta take this. So Silence is actually a pickable card. So really what I'm looking for, I don't, I don't know the ideal curve in this meta, but my, my general I kind of default to, uh, you want like at least, I don't, I don't know about twos, I mean, you probably do want twos actually in this meta, which is probably really good that I don't have any, but usually like my default, like let's say standard in any class would be like maybe six twos, four threes, four fours. Two to three fives, but because I don't have two, they need threes even more. But unfortunately, these aren't like a three four. It may just be sun on night. Yeah, I think it's sun on night. Man, I'm even lower at low on fours, dude. Oh, this curve is wonky. The value is there, the curve is really wonky. This could be really annoying in the right board states for my opponents. Because I can bump it and still heal it, but... I think I just need that earlier card right now. I think his thoughts is a really gritty card too, so I think I will actually go for the second mind control. Purify is obviously not in the conversation. But I really needed some kind of board clear. <laughs> or like a Shadow or Death would be great. See, this is just a really slow card. Like, it's not really that much slower than mind control. Mind control is guaranteed value. This is a great card. This is a. Oh, these are all good actually. I think it's this, if my curve's, curve's, curve's wonky, that cheap draw can help me draw into my my earlier game faster. This this is also, it could be good. Like if I have a dragon in hand, that's probably better, but. I think I want this, because I need to get something down and get it to stick to keep, just hold me into that middle game before I can start taking over a value. Okay, so I have two cards to benefit from having a dragon in hand. So, and this is also... So that, that makes sense. I think this makes less sense. Yeah, I think this makes the most sense. I, I'm so desperate for curve, this is really well statted. This isn't really a ghoul deck. Wow. I've never played with this card. I have had it destroy me. <laughs> This would also be, oh, they're both giants. They're both good cards, they would both be great, but I think this is just the card. This is kind of that tempo play I'm looking for. So this would kind of just be like a shadow or death. So yeah.
So yeah, this is just my two. This would be my one two. <laughs> pretty pretty sad, but at least so I have two clerics down. I can get them down on one. If I get them down on one, I'm pretty happy with this deck, even if I miss on two. You know, if I can power shield it, that would also help it be sticky. I could keep healing it, maybe at least do something. So this is just a pretty bad card. I'm probably gonna go with this one. This is just value, like if it hits, but I don't need value. This deck is loaded with value, so. What I need is defensive tools that can help me stay alive. Oh my god. Whew, that, that is a good, good pick right there. So I think this is a Hysteria. Nova, Nova's more consistent because you can't use this sometimes, but the problem with this deck is I'm kind of just too likely to be behind, like on turn five. Maybe desperately behind, so this could be a great pick. So okay, that's, that's pretty good value in this deck. It's a little wonky. I'm hoping the meta's slow enough right now that this can work. Because one two to a two ones, and I mean honestly, it's not even the best threes. I mean I got. See, this is a good defensive card too. It could work. We'll see. So I guess I'll, I'll, I'll show the beginning of the of this game to see how it starts out. This is kind of where you, uh, I don't know, some people are really good at evaluating how good their deck is when they draft it. I'm not usually that guy. So, it's usually more the early games you kind of, well, it's it's honestly a little later, but once you start playing with it, you get a feel for, okay, is this deck going to work or is it not? So actually, like, like a week and a half ago, shit, I need to talk about dragon, please. I don't think you play that. Yeah, even against a hunter, I don't think you play that. But, so yeah, a week and a half ago, I finally got offered a priest, which I was kind of waiting for because I love priests. And, uh, wow, this is gross. And, uh, I played a run and, uh, like, I drafted, like, no spells, but I recorded it. I tried to do this exact same thing. And,. So I had like Hearth Arena open and it like screwed up my recording and like it like the recording went through and I like I tested it and it was working but it just like froze the recording at a certain spot on a screen so I couldn't use it which is kind of a shame because it would have been a pretty good one because it was like a bad deck and I I started one and two and then I just like fought my way back and I finished uh, six and three but yeah I mean that's like, like, if you want to try to make leaderboards, or even be infinite if you're not infinite, I mean, that's kind of... What the hell? At least it dies, Jesus. Um, that's, like, a really important skill. So I'm going to devour mine this time. I could do this, but because it's two mana less, if I had something else to do with my mana, I would play it, but... This guy's playing so slow. I can afford to do this. Wow, those are all premium. Wow. <laughs> but so yeah. Oh, what I was saying is, uh, if you're trying to get better, that's one of the really important things. If you're trying to prove your average is uh, being able. So this this lives. This, let me let me think this this turn through. This lives. It's a pretty good turn. I could also do this and this. That's actually pretty good too. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So far through this, I do not learn the cards. I could also do that, but but then he just free kills one of the freezes. So. A simple spit. Oh my god! And I, I actually am gonna run her, and I. Yeah. It's fine. It's gonna be hard at the top though. I really don't want to. Well, I do have a Mega Troll ready. I really don't want to throw my Twin Tower. <laughs> Evasive. I don't want to burn either of my two board clears. Should I play around it? Oh wow, that was 
my only dragon? Oh, never mind. <laughs> So if I do this, I can hit in the 4-3 and then flash heal it, and then trade into the 3 and then go face, oh, let's see, oh, yeah, they, they can't go face, that looks like the play to me. Yeah, this, this is really good that he's this slow for us because this deck really is not going to be outvalued too often, so... Okay, so it looks like that's an explosive, but I don't understand how to fly. <laughs> I'm a priest that can heal. So I mean, I could just give him credit for explosive and not attack. But I don't think you do that. Especially I'm winning big time turns. I could just do this. Okay, so I have 14 base right now. Gross. <laughs> this card's broken. I don't have much early game, so I gotta keep my threes. Especially with the coin, because I can coin into a three if I get an R3. Alright, so this guy's already starting off a little slow, so I'm gonna pause it here and I will unpause it when it gets to. All right, so this is already a little interesting here. Hmm. I'm kind of tempted to coin out the Silent Knight, but I don't think it's a replay because my curve is so bad afterwards. I mean, I could draw into the right cards, but 
Like, if I had a 4 in hand, maybe. Like, let's say I had a 4 and a 5. Maybe I'd feel better about coining up the 3. But right now, it's like it just feels like I may need that coin. Because I mean. Alright, so it's a 3 box, so that's it not better. Because part of the reason. I was tempted to coin this out, even though it looks like it's, it's a bad play because you don't have follow-up players. Is let's say you played a two mana or a two attack minion on turn four or turn three last turn, then I can bump with the cleric in and heal it, and at least that gives me something to do. Whereas it's kind of looking like. like it fills in for that. It gives me a turn three play. And then I'm also a turn two play, whereas if I just heal my face on turn two, I don't have a turn two play, so. I so Cobalt's won. tempting, and this is tempting too. I think maybe it's Cobalt. Maybe Cobalt and then you don't attack. And then I got a 5-2 Divine Shield, that's pretty good. I like that. And also, because if he wants to heal this, he's got to go kind of crazy. He's got a double bump. I guess it's not that crazy. I could free bone on a 2-6, but that's a maybe for a good Nova, depending on what he does. Whoa. Alright, I've never seen that card. Jesus Christ. <laughs> This sucks because I'd really like to use this here, so I can't just take a trade. But an easy trade, but it's not gonna work. Silence. So I gotta do this. I gotta play with this. This is looking good, though. Maybe maybe this deck is good. I I know lots of times with priest. I think a deck looks kind of wonky, but you got the value, and the value just wins out. Like, you, you just win. Because it's so important to have that in place. Okay, so one play is Nova. That'd be a uh, power shield. This would, the 3 4 would go into a 3 4. The 2 1 ones would go into the 5 4 and then, and then Holy Nova. That's really not that great. This you can get a lot of your turns in. So yeah, I'm gonna temple the power shield. I don't want the power shield in the temple, so I'm gonna do that last. Jeez. Ah, it's my 
I can too. Uh, so let's see, discover this card in your deck. So that's gonna be mind control or hysteria? Do I have any other spells? I have a smite as well. Yo, wait a minute, mind. So hysteria would be pretty solid here. Twin timer, that's not really that great. I mean, it's, it's, okay. it's pretty good. But. I mean, it depends on if it's, if it's 3 4, really. Or is that 3 3, I mean. And also, I'm using my ability to do this. So I, I like doing this. Yes. On wings of destruction, they come. I think to the last bit, I would have preferred to play the Bone Guardian to kill my face. Maybe I should have played the Tyrant. I didn't realize quite how low it was. The 6, 8, 9, 10 face. <laughs> okay. Two there, and one has two in face. Yeah, I'm pretty happy about that. I think I'm actually a pretty shaker. Okay, so I think we have to turn on freezing. This is gonna go there. I know, uh, I don't need to do anything else. Maybe, maybe I should, I can play around bigger by sending this face. So no, that actually can't go face goes here. By the wings. Look behind you. Send this face to play around bear and explosive and everything. It's not something bad that can happen. Yeah, nothing bad can happen. You face death. Is that you can kill me with no he's one off for killing me with the silence if i mind control it he's one off again i actually can't kill it unless i i'm not i'm not sending the four and there's no fucking way so i'm either freezing it or i'm
because I mean it's just the thing if I freeze it it's it's basically the same that he needs he would need silence and a reach so hmm. I wonder. okay maybe not maybe I should play around with that I should play around with that shit alright fuck I'm doing this <laughs> the base Because yeah, he needs silence and reach to kill me. I ran one reach. Now he needs. He could just still kill me to reach. But... Alright. Got him! So this is often how it is with Priest 2, you just kind of barely win. But I mean, I love it. It makes interesting games, so. This is kind of why I'm playing. I'm not playing Hearthstone to like get out fast on turn one and like beat on turn five like every single game and it's just it's just boring to me at least. Taranda, the only problem is that was a one zero game and it was a little bit tough, which kind of doesn't bode well for the future, but we'll see. Also, nobody has really played very fast so far, which is going to be our most likely problem. Okay, so different from last time, I think this is the right play. Because I could smite next turn, I could heal next turn, I could maybe heal and get a card next turn. Especially because, oh yeah, wow, that, that's a really good combo. So if you're playing this as a discovery card, that means you have a dragon in your hand. And therefore that makes this card insane, that's a 3 minute consecration. So I really want to heal for a card, but unfortunately it doesn't really work on my mana. Bump bump soul priest. Bump and the troll. Is there any kind of right, so I don't have a Nova, because Nova and Soul Priest obviously do not combo well together. What these minions will. I think that's so far. Right away. Silence. Oh that oh that it does hurt with the cleric. Because I can't heal for a card now. It's a long, like this tick is so greedy. Uh, I'm just getting ahead on the board. It's, if I get ahead on the board, I'm gonna sure win it with this deck. So. Mm. One shot, one. Okay. So I could trade off the cleric and play this. I don't really think it's that much better though. I mean, eh, I mean it's better. Hmm. If I'm gonna trade the cleric, it feels like even this is better. 
Nothing like this. I could even do the, this one. The other one's gonna get up to six with my hair power. really want to do. I was going to do it. But it would be really nice if I could do these two and then I also get my minion and get a card. But I'll still just do this. Short. That would be beautiful. That's his side quest. You just need to play two more minions and he gets a buff. So he's that buff's gonna happen. Yeah, this is why Cleric is so good. Like, <laughs> how many cards did it draw me? I think maybe zero. <laughs> but one, it gave me a good three drop, a good set of three drops. And then two, it makes him make that trade. Because he's gonna, he's gonna get another minion here. That's gonna go up to five. But he could have traded that into here. But because it's a Cleric, he doesn't want to get the cards. He has to make a really bad trade. You know, it's... Wow, let's see. <laughs> I'll do that. So what else am I gonna do? What? Really is it an archers? Justice demands retribution. Oh shit! Should have done that though. I should have done that. Was it better now than long? No, I think no, maybe no, it was better. Maybe it was this play. Ah, poop. I wonder. So is it just this and heal? Maybe it is. It's probably just this and heal. Okay. Lock it up. I'm gonna get it here. Top deck to Entiron. <laughs> Reporting for duty. I guess I'm very happy. Well, I'll do this first. On wings of destruction, they come. <sighs> my control. I think it is my control, isn't it? Yeah, I think it is. He, he doesn't have enough cards to really be worried about him spreading too much. I think it's just not as too bad. He's super greedy. Do this. 
kill his cat, I can kill his shield. So does that mean he's immune to being frozen too? It probably does. I guess it only freezes what it damages, right? Okay. Okay, never mind. I guess it makes sense. So right now I think I'm gonna control the five five, because why not? Either that or cobalt. I wonder. I guess it clean the tracer. Then you can Deathwing it, and I, I might control his Deathwing, and then you top deck Deathwing again, and then I might control it again. <laughs> and then I Anything near as dirty as this deck can be. <laughs> I had two mind controls in Mass Hysteria. Nova, none of the I didn't even devour mind as uh, Tyrion. I don't know. Okay. So I only have one, two. I have two ones. I think it's, it's right to go hard for those. We also have enough threes you can counter and get it. But in this deck, like, you're super happy to just play a cleric on one and just slow them down as much as possible until you hopefully take over later on with your value. Today, I don't have to be a princess. I can double trick on 3 5 because they're rich. Yes, me and Mr. Fight! Really? Oh shit. The negative synergy! No!
this is happening. My hero power is happening. The question is, where does the hero power go? Where does this go? So I can double trade there. That's pretty good. If that was a regular 2-1, I would hero power that, and then I would trade that in the 2-1. But because it's the death rattle, I don't really want to do that. Also, no, it's set up pretty good, so I'm going to... Beast. Oh no! The only thing is the order or the taunt. This would be an awesome Nova. I'm gonna probably still get a Nova. But I really wanted to bump it into the 2-4 and then no fun then you get a card out of it. Well, I can still do that, but I don't get the extra damage with 2-4, so that's not too bad. Or I could bump it in, play this, and he has to make kind of a bad trade. I mean, he has to decide if he's going to come to the cleric or that, so that's pretty good too. That may be the play, actually. Single pie. Okay. I wonder. I don't think any of them will zone that beam. If I had to play with the Nova, I would need five things that I have five second die, so. A nice thing about a deck like this, too, is I have the value. So you don't need to really... Like, all you need to do is just survive. Like, you don't need to get perfect value with that 4-5 win theory, you know? You just need to stay competitive on the board, and I have more cards than So all I need to do is just stay competitive. Stay in the game, and then you win. It doesn't need to live for three turns or anything. It, it just needs to stay in there. It kills the 5-3, it kills the 3-1, he gets a death out of time. So this is looking like a pretty good Nova. Be nice if he plays something else small. Let's see, he's thinking about it. If I know that and he didn't play anything else, the Drake goes down to four. It's not playable next turn. Nice. Damn it. He really wanted to play something. I just even better than Nova. Super good on this board. We also know he doesn't have a deadly shot because he would have played it last turn on the 7 7 taunt. Just the teeth I No, he would. Oh, he didn't do that last time. That's right, because he couldn't target. Okay. He still has to kill both things, so that's fine. I, I took 100 marks out of his hand and killed two of his cards on the board. Oh, one of his cards on the board. Okay. So this is looking like a trade Nova. That pushes the Drake down to actually a really good amount, because it's going to be four minions dying. So that's going to be a two minute Drake. Twin Tyrant, you're gonna play it now? And I might control it. Oh no! That's the best possible card you could have on this board. Draws him a card in that. Put a trade. So yeah, I might have to pick up this. Heal, get more cards, because I'm a pretty bastard. 
<gasps> okay, you... <laughs> it worked out. Oh shit, I thought that was much of our mind. <laughs> oh god. I got this. No problem, I'm about to see here. <laughs> oh man. I need a little look at cards more carefully, sometimes I do that. Not very often, but <laughs> once in a blue moon. I, like, I see one 5 mana card spell, and I'm like, oh, okay, that's my Devourer Mind. I don't know if it's actually a different 5 mana spell, it's just a same, similar color. Oh, shit. But that was just my first one. What about this one? <laughs> oh, Lord Priest. <laughs> Seems pretty good in this one. Taranda versus Taranda. The ultimate matchup. The goddess is my shield. Okay, so our priest doesn't have as many things as he really want a holy spider early on. He has some other classes. Uh, I think it's what I said before. I think I need to go hard for the one, my three early drops. As in one or two mana cards. Because if I get one of them, especially if I get my two in curve or my cleric in curve, it's really, really good. This could kill a two drop. Okay, I guess I'll keep that. It just the thing is, it just makes it that much more unlikely that I'm gonna get early game. Whew, all right, I'll do that. Oh man, I just hope I don't miss my three. Oh no. <laughs> Ugh. So I can definitely lose if I miss on two and three. Ugh. So many threes. Play a three two, please, for the love of God. Uh. <laughs> uh. I don't even have a four drop yet. It looks like a... It looks like it's a new one. Oh, that gives you a chance. Okay. As long as you're not going to play anything either, that's fine. Oh, I forgot I had this card. I forgot this card existed. That's insane. Kill this for free. Ridiculous. Kill that for free. That's one minute short. Okay, what can I do here? So I can know but that feels gross and pointless. I can smite, which is fine. It looks like it's just a smite. Do you play the cleric? No, I don't think so. The only reason I could Nova is because it, because of mana. It takes up 
Like, it's gonna be hard to spend a 5 mana later on. Whereas Smite's always gonna be good. But he does have a lot of cards he could, he could spread later on, so... Look behind you. And also got 4-3, the, the Jarrow Gapper can hit it and then hit something else. Which is pretty good. So if he plays like a 4 health thing, I'm pretty happy. Jarrow Gapper's still decent here. <laughs> I'm assuming he's got some way to buff that at some point. Yeah. God, I really hope he doesn't have this card. Your feeble magic he doesn't have that card. I'm in pretty good shape, I think. If he does, he's gonna swing that game so hard. That, and he's got more cards than me, too, so he. Play the theory. Pretty, pretty well done. I can deal with that, that's fine. That's honestly a pretty good answer. Wait, what? How can he be that greedy? What on earth? What on earth? What? Oh, if only Holy Man Holy Man did more than damage more. But I could cleric Nova. What? That doesn't do anything besides give me a card. Well, it, it lets me trade. Yeah, that's pretty good actually. And then what about so what else? Five, six. I could buy that. I could buy that. I wonder. Last time, it could mean he doesn't know it or something. But... I understand. Like, how was the 5 1 even less valuable than the 2 to 2 card? I don't know. Against a priest, you probably want the second mind control. <laughs> I can even mind control whatever dragon he has. That's gross. So that means I now have three mind controls. <laughs> I still have one in my deck. This is so gross. So the next turn I could Twin Tyrant Tree heal. Ooh. So what do you do? Do you mind control the 6-6? Six, six, do you mind control the 5-9? I have too many mind controls in my game. I have to, I have to use one. And if I do that, it will kill his dragon. Or his beast thing, or whatever. That's pretty good. He 
it's still seven cards in hand, but I got the raw mind, so that's basically seven cards myself. Hmm. <laughs> oh man, I could find mind controls for him. <laughs> oh, I could conceivably have more than three mind controls in this game. I mean, I could find two mind controls from him at five. This is the worst play I've ever seen. Why did he attack first? Wow. Like, <laughs> that's so gross. <laughs> uh, tilting a priest because because you do priest things against him. That's pretty good. I'm just gonna top deck my second one. Why are you drawing? Suck it. Oh my god! Please, my control, my control, my control, my control! Oh, no, that's unfair. <laughs> oh, sorry, this is gonna do a lot of damage. Six. So I'm gonna bump here. Destroy the shield. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Is it not dead yet? It will be dead if I play the tyrant. I wonder. So I can heal. Shit. I'm trying to figure out there's a way to get a card and heal this, but there isn't. So I heal. These three are all gonna trade. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. I got, I got my five set. Doing this just to get a card. Important. You don't want to nuke your own guy. <laughs> oh, that, that was gonna be. I wouldn't have actually done that if he didn't drag me over. Sorry. That's 13. I think two face somehow. Is there anybody who does two face? That's how you deal two face. <laughs> well oh gosh. That was fine. Wow. I missed on turn two. I missed on turn three. Did I miss on turn four? I may have missed on turn four. I think I did, and then I top deck the four drop on turn five. <laughs> oh, and I still won. <sighs> Good times. <laughs> so yeah, so far I haven't thought this run's been boring at all. To where I need to pause it. And it, it's mainly a problem like when they stall with every turn next time. Like, I understand if people are having to think and they do that. So, so this is probably the 1 3 I would keep in the spot with the coin because it's a 3 4. And that's really good. And I guess I'll keep the smite as well and I'll just. I'll just take that as a given that I'm going to miss uh, my 2 drop. Because at least I have other, stu other stuff I can do, so that's really good. Plays it through uh, something with two health, I can smite it, then I can play three four next turn. Uh, Something. Once upon a time. Okay. 
Okay, Dragon Dirt. That, that ability is really good in the early game, too. Because if they have to hear power for three at any point early on, I mean, that's gonna. That, that extra loss of mana early is gonna hurt a lot more. Please coin. <laughs> uh, he's not me. I think it's pretty easy to remember the first time. But that was my fun. He coined and tried to hear power. So far, this one looks really good. I mean, this is all you want to do with this deck. Hang in there in the early game. Then, then I'll buy one. Okay, no problem. Yeah. If I didn't have a dragon in hand, I would hero power. I'd trade me hero power. Most likely. And also, so like I was saying, when I said, uh, so because of my, my value, or my deck, you know that it wins by not valuing them, that means you can play safer too. So you don't need to worry about down the face damage or anything. You just, you just, uh, play Take the them out. Yeah, so, so. Uh, at least one option you can get trade, but that to me looks like the worst option. But the other one I saw is Hero Power Smite and then this, but that's using a bunch of cards. Temple's actually just better right now. This definitely happens. Hero power and smite, and then the drink is four mana. That looks like fun. So, Twin Tyrant. He has one, that would be pretty good, but he can't use it yet for next turn. It would be really good for him. Oh man, I'm gonna have a five drop or a less, even a four drop. That works. I'd rather spread. It makes a tyrant worse. This game I've had, it's Bobo. Your feeble magic amuses me. Okay, so that's this, that's this. 9, 10, 11, 12. We do not have people yet. But we're still in great shape. Spring Plague in this mana. I wonder if it's better to trade these two or trade the one. You know, trade the one, but I'm gonna do this. It's a little worse. It's worse against well, Twin Tyrant. He loses. I guess Spring Plague is really the only thing to play around right now. Actually, even Spring Plague. Was let your power space and Nova. You really hear these right to get the heal. Yeah, 
Yeah, this is this is the dream with Priest. That's the thing that's really fun with Control Priest. Is like lots of times it's just like you guys you don't have an answer. <laughs> like you can't even have an answer. Like even if you had Death Band Mind Control. <laughs> It's kind of a little bit more like, I guess, like a solitaire version of playing the game, but it's fun. <laughs> it's not fun being on the other end. Like, I, you know, I've definitely had games where you just get that control priest that just doesn't do anything. It's so annoying. But it's fun to be on the other side. So I definitely don't think this is a 12-0 game. A deck, I can tell you that much. I've had 12-0 decks, it's not this. <laughs> but who knows? We'll see. I will see what we can do. I don't I don't really think honestly it's a 12 win deck either. But like, if the curve was a little better than the early game, it could be a 12 win deck. I'd be much more likely to keep this if I didn't have this in hand. Cleric with the dream right now. The one thing too is uh, the less early game you have, the better it is if you happen to hit it. Like if you only have one two drop and you have your two and two, it's like your deck is kind of broken because. because all the other cards you're gonna draw are gonna be better value than twos. Whereas if you have like six twos, but if you have six twos, uh, so I think the three four is better here, maybe, because he's also on three man and not not four. I like this. Because also, I'm not going to be able to heal my injured. I'm probably going to be playing a priest to the feast next turn. So I'm gonna be clericing and healing for sure. It's a three six, right? No. I, I think that's the way to go because my top deck of three, I'd rather play it than the deck of that. Missed out on the two cards I would have most wanted versus the priest. I would have either the mind control or the dragon spell thing that only damages his board. What but the shield's pretty solid. I'll probably do that. Smite can also be useful, but eh, I think it's better to do this. So that happens. there if you want to use it on the cleric right now. But like he could see this trade coming and he kind of acted like he has one damage. Right? I don't know exactly how I'm like maybe a Nova. We could have a Nova in hand that would explain it. Okay so this happens I don't care if my Nova, my Nova gets burnt or my uh, cleric gets frozen. So it's alive. 
this happens. Actually, hmm, let me reverse it down. Right now, at least. Fire ball ready. No! Okay. Is hey, that's my king. No! Huh. That could that could be good. I have it down. I don't really need to worry about the possibility of drawing more cards right now. This, this is probably getting to the point where I maybe don't want to draw cards anymore. I don't really want to let the take too much, but oh. Okay. Just trade in the right places. Okay. Shield, it's kind of annoying. Your turn to bleed. Your future is no more. Okay, I am totally fine with that. That could have been so much worse against all the cards I have. Okay, so this is probably good enough for a timer. Yeah, this is a good timer. I could have played the Mosh too. Mosh is pretty good here. The one thing against a priest. It's a pretty good upscale. <laughs> one thing about a priest that you're worried about though is they have that six mana steal something that's two or less attack. <laughs> against this, that's ridiculous, but you know, it's pretty rare. I mean, Shadow or Death even is pretty bad against it, but. It's really the steals we're worried about. I thought that could happen. It's fine. So anyway, it's like double trade. That looks pretty good. Double trade. I could do this and hope for a death, but that's a hell Mary. God, those cards look similar from a distance. <laughs> I like double trade, cobalt, violet, heal the fort though. Yes. Heal that and carry on with uh, the range of. Uh, this only works in the same time. Doing some time there. Another mind control, <laughs> but if he does, I just might throw back. Oh, that would still suck. Oh, that also played around the six head thing. <laughs> okay. See that? 
Wait. <laughs> I'm greedier than you are. <laughs> This is definitely the most fun run I've had in quite a while. <laughs> oh, I love Priest. I love, when Priest is good, so far. Okay, so this is a Warlock. They're definitely good holy smite targets, like that one drop. I'm definitely keeping this. I'm definitely keeping this. I think you just do this. I'm not going to count on having a dragon. Sorry for that gives you a curve. That's a little regret my decision, but it's okay. Oh wow. Well I guess that wouldn't matter. If he had to tap right now, it would be it would actually be a good time for him to have his power go up. So he threw away his entire opening hand. He's got to have a three drop down. Weld it down, lock it up. If I had one more mana to play five probably shifts and I would, I would bump heal with Claire and play the smite, but I don't have mana for that. I'm like man. So I definitely kill it. This one's actually really good. Melt it down. Is someone So yeah, clerics often having a cleric can help out. Like if you have a bad curve, but like I do, I mean, I'm, I'm missing a two, I'm missing a four lots of times. Like I didn't have a four drop, but it kind of helps you fill in your curve because if you can ever get a card with a zero power, I'm like a warlock. It's like, like yeah, you prefer to curve out perfectly, but I mean, if you're getting a card, you know, you're doing something. You're you're improving the rest of your curve, and you're you're just helping fill out that mana. So I can trade Smite. I don't remember, actually, that's actually pretty decent. I can also like trade, trade, Cobalt. But, I mean, that's good. I guess the problem is if I don't draw anything, like, that I can play. One. Four, two, okay, it's extremely like in the dark, so I'm gonna so. so this is just gonna be better. Right away. Like yeah, it would be nice to draw that card. But this is better. So I can heal that to three and then, ooh, I think.
think that is the planet. Actually, I think you do. Preemptive smite. Okay. I see. I see multiple reasons to do it actually. Because one, I I want to be able to play out the dragonoid next turn if I want to. That's that's my most likely play. <laughs> Look at what it's setting up our timer. <laughs> that's the other thing. Is that it's a set up our timer and putting my back health. But I just do that. So if I do this. He may have traded in both. He may just all he, all he needs is like a like a dread inferno or something like that to prevent the double trade. We're gonna set up our time. Right? Just some ideas with that. If I do that, I have nothing on the board. So it seems like this is actually better than this. Your feeble magic. And I don't have anything else to play. So let's see. The twin? I could play Temple. And that pushes to 10. If I could heal it up, that's basically 12. That's actually really good. I think maybe it's just Temple here. I mean, I said 12 is not that great, though. Because what? Easy. Cause I would trade in a 6 4, and then you could still just heal on the board, but then. I think it's just twin. If twin hits, actually twin is guaranteed. No, no, it's not. It has to hit the six four. But it's sixty six percent chance to hit the six four, and then it begins to stay alive. So six four, six four. Oh, that's actually Discovered. So I have a Nova, I have a Bower Mind. That's it. Whew. Well, Bower Mind basically means I'll never discard it, <laughs> even against a Warlock. I wonder. Temple's really good if he doesn't have power removal, which he doesn't look like he does. Yeah, actually, I really like Temple here. Alright, let's go for tomorrow night, I guess. On wings of destruction, I guess another good one. Oh, I have that too. Oh. Okay, so that's my dragon. Oh wow, that's good too. But then I'll be playing my last dragon. I forgot I had that card. Uh, I'm gonna go to Bower Mine. It seems crazy, but... It's like the only way I'm gonna... Like, I don't see I'm gonna lose right now. If I have that in hand, so... Look how much I have in my hand right now. It's crazy. Two more controls are the bar of mine. So he, and he hasn't played a two drop all game, so or two mana card. So that means he probably does not have the eight defile. Okay. Nice back to seven two. So 
What am I still going on? I don't have a on there. I don't think I really have a stereo bar. Huh? He's only like got four cards left in his hand. I wonder. Like, why does a master stereo with there? Alright. I think this is an MC turn. Or is it this? I think it's an MC turn just because I have too many MCs and this, this, these are pretty big dudes out there. Um, what I don't even know which one I want more though. If any of the dragon killing stuff still existed, I'd probably want that. This. Yeah. Maybe you just take the six five because of this. you're gonna make me. <laughs> Did I discover that? Okay, maybe that was a mistake. I don't know why I need to discover it knowing a second. <laughs> oh. I still don't have a dragon in my hand? Discovery? Or maybe I, Jesus Christ. That's really good. Oh my god. Nice! Because they have buffed. Okay. So I think you just take the free trade and put in this. That's fine. So I have one dragon only left in my deck. I'll take carrots. Go face. I don't think they ever involve half of the face. Wait, sir.
Yeah. Just don't make this play. Oh, oh Sandy. <laughs> uh, you know he's gonna bitch at me, but it's good for content, I guess. I mean, it may seem bad because the curve's already wonky, but just the fact that you could draw another card it helps the curve get less wonky. Sorry, I think the coin in this circle set will probably be insane. Alright, I mean, you could heal next turn. No. Oh. Didn't kill. So I guess it depends on what he plays. If he plays a 2 3, he's in. If I play the 2 3, then I can power shield. If I play anything less of that, I can trade the heal. Okay. If he doesn't play anything, I can power shield too. in the game and then follow it up with the perfect one drop. Oh. So what else can we do? Trade heal. Decent. Well, so that would buff up what five. Maybe he could kill that. He could kill it, but he has to trade everything in. I could just go face by the side of night. It's the worst thing in the world. I think I think it's right. I think I like trade. That's insane. That's not a face spot, but okay. So this is great. There's no reason to be extra greedy with the smite. You just get All I need to worry about right now is protecting myself. I guess if he had a blessing king, that would suck. That's fine. That's a silly play. So this guy has a very good disease mode, so he has the not snap. Because he should have swung, like, poor face to him means nothing. 
That means way less than that Divine Shield thing. So. Because uh, he's way behind the value, so he's not going to squeak this out because he has extra health. <laughs> he's the guy who's trying to rush me down, so. Jeez. Oh, he's not going to spawn. Sulfurs, but that's kind of bad because it's pretty soon I'm going to need to be healing. So I could just play that, that's pretty good. That's a taunt. I could smite. I wonder. Smite trade kobold looks pretty darn good. It looks insanely good. I think, I think the other does face. If he, if he uses one reach on my screen, I don't care. Whatever. But I'm trying to hang on so much that that two hit face may make the difference. The Black oh, are you kidding me? Oh my god, I'm going to turn a mind one too, but it's okay. It's okay! This. If he only had one one on, I would have traded into it with the cobalt because that's going in the shield. But that's two. That's okay. It's okay. We got this, baby. We got this. Oh no, no. The cobalt can't kill me. Control, trade, face. Yeah, that's probably the play. What can this do? This trade. It's like a mob sauce. Okay. There's Dino Size, Dino Size in this meta? I don't think you play around Dino Size. One card. Wait, Dino Size? Hey, I can't play around it anyways. Because you would stun this as one. Well. either. Oh my god. <laughs> so even if this hits on the shield, it's just not going to do it. It's going to die, right? Trade, no, that's going to be three off. Um, um, okay, so it's going to be this. Face. 
I'm not sure exactly what I'm playing around like this five hammers, but sure. it's gonna also like twirled. Alright, I think, I may have lost it, that game was close enough that if he didn't go off face with him, that was, that arrow had an amazing start, he had the nut, two, turns two and three. Whew, but if he traded there, then it could put me in a much harder spot. Is there another thing that can be important to do when looking to improve your win rate? is to review your your draft like once you've seen how it's done and uh, think about like how what card, which cards have contributed to how you've done so did you struggle and then why or are you doing well and why and so in this one like that second mind control has been great it has been it, that second mind control has been better than the hysteria Better than Devour Mine. I, I don't I, like. I haven't actually had a single game where really these two cards have really mattered at all. And uh, but the second Mind Control, I've had many games where that's been great. So the meta does seem slow enough for that. That's basically the main takeaway I have right now. The Devour Mine. It's probably still good. But I haven't had a problem with running out of cards at all. So maybe because of the, the double cleric. But I don't think I played Devout Mine like twice and neither time I really needed to. I had plenty of other options, so. Taranda. Another priest. Wow. This is a priest meta. The goddess is my shield. Okay. So I'm kind of glad I have all this high stuff because that improves my odds of getting low stuff when I go out. So yeah, I like this. Need a dragon! Never once had a dragon in turn one with this guy, man. So there's no spell I wouldn't play. On wings of destruction they come. Wow. So I'm gonna kick a super greedy here because it is a priest, just to make sure I don't get outvalued. I don't think it's no. It could be smite though, but I don't think I'm gonna go with greedy. I guess. I don't know if it's necessary, but. Sucks. Why? Two devour mines, basically impossible for me. Maybe if you devour mine into my devour mine. Oh my god! <laughs> the value, okay. I see, I see it. So if I could kill the 4 5 and keep my guy alive, I could just trade and play the 5 drop, that's pretty darn good.
to get up on my chest to win now. I, uh, seriously, like that may look like a good turn, but oh. He just used like a bunch of cards to really not do that much. And now all of a sudden he's gonna die to four cards, so I feel great. Yeah, that Shadow Madness, he could have got a lot more value out of that at a different time. So I don't see any reason not to just do this. The Shadow Madness here can, can save him if he didn't have reach. Okay. So, you know, we'll just, we'll just play the good card. Which is more valuable, the Divine Shield or that? Down to 3 1. I feel like maybe it's just that. I don't know. Yeah, probably. No, maybe I'm wrong because he probably has a Twin Tyrant. The Divine Shield would play better if it gets a Twin Tyrant. So what is that? Power Word Shield? There's not really that many cards that do that. And this is going into a mind control turn. That's always something to be wary about, or uh, wary of, when facing a priest. So I kind of don't want to tempo my four ten. I wonder. Definitely gonna make the trade. You tempo the three three, I think. Oh, double trade. This guy's definitely got a mind control. He's a 9 0 priest. He's got a mind control. This healing looks good. Yeah, so it's this. Worst would be uh, <laughs> mass hysteria. It is finished. You win. Well, I still don't think this is a solo deck, <laughs> but we'll see. It is one of those things, like I said, uh, priest, like. So I didn't use Hearth Arena this time, because like I said, I had the recording problem last time. But, like when you rank my Priest decks based on deck score, every one of my top like six drafts ever in terms of tier score have been 11 or 12 wins. And that's like, that's usually not the case. Like especially like with Mage, you can have, you can have a really high deck score, but not really have a good deck because you need like the curve and the spells. You can't just have too many spells and stuff like that. But with Priest, it just seems like if you have the quality, you'll win. So, and this is pretty high deck, deck quality, so. I don't know where I would rank, but it's a good deck. Oh, that's unfair <laughs> for him. My only two drop that, that puts me in a great spot. This is this is like the dream curve out for me, really, just about. I mean, I could have had a cleric, but this deck will almost never go two, three, four. So, 
down. So that's definitely going face. Obviously. But, uh, it's like the injured. So the only thing I don't like about playing is injured, is it's gonna be hard to heal it. But then I have a double bonus for healing. I guess if I tap like a cleric, it'd be amazing, but. But I may need, I think this is bad. So instead of being greedy, I just want that extra attack out there, because if he plays a four health minion, I want that out there. Oh, I do got this guy. This is good enough, but I think it's right to heal. Yeah. She's in that spot. Keep this cobalt. Yeah, this is just too good. Okay, so that happens. This happens. The only position to play around is the explosive shot, so I want this over there. So the troll isn't good here, so I'm not gonna do that. It looks like it's gonna be cleric knight heal. Question is hmm. Okay, yeah, that's how you hear it. So you do this. Is someone injured? Wait, what oh shit, I misplayed. That's not how I would have rather done it the other way. Oh fuck. Okay. Your turn to bleed. I don't want to put the cobble on one health. So no, I'm not gonna... I think I was thinking that if I healed him that he gets right to trade in the 4-4, but I think I think I should just trade the 4 4, or the, this guy into the 4 4, and then get the cobalt. How about a new oh. How about a new <laughs> I was just worried about one damage, like that. Cobalt is very strong. Seven, if you want to do math properly. Wow. <laughs> so is it a quick play? <laughs>
Oh, one more. Wow, I'm stunned. Stunned! I have a chance to swallow zero deck. I don't know if I've... Maybe I've... I'm not sure if I've done 12 zero freeze. I'm not 100% on that. But... I did not think this was the deck. I mean, it could be a lot better. It's got good value, but... The curve especially, and then just... Like, if you give me, like, two more twos, like, good twos, and, like, switch some of those other three mana cards, like, I only have one three four. If there were, if I had, like, three three fours or four three fours, and then you keep the rest of the deck the same, then I feel really good about that. I guess I'm going to pick back. One thing that's kind of concerning. Uh, usually, when I queue in for a game 12 game, especially lately, it takes like forever. It takes like. Like, it often takes like a minute to queue in. And I'm 11 and 0. So they're trying to find something that's 11 and 0 to match me up with. And they queued in immediately to this guy. So he's probably. Uh, is that one shield? Power shield pump heal. It makes it really hard to kill him. I just kind of like that because like, it also gives me two chances to draw a dragon. Right away. You know, so you, like fiery war axe or something like that can't kill it. Well, it can. It can. <laughs> oh no, that's a lot of damage. But he's probably, he's, I think he trades on the one five. I think he's got it. Shush! Right away. Can I get two one? Uh, I don't want to do anything to improve his odds of not having to send a seven three into the one five. That cleric right there, that just sort of made seven armor. <laughs> like it got me like one card and it got me seven armor because that, that did not go face. Such a good card. Okay. So I can just do that by this. It looks pretty good actually. Look at that, that's a play. The one thing that's a little bit concerned, maybe not with this deck, but like if he's got a bunch of dragon roars, he, he actually can't outvalue me. Wow. That's pretty good. Although I can borrow my need to be his dragon roar. If I did this, it actually sucks. I do this and heal it. That's pretty good on this board. I like this. Copter and it's almost as good as the, the mess hysteria. So that's probably the play.
Okay. Wow. <laughs> this is not the best situation. So again, that's a stereo to two. That director got on to four. Not cheap enough. At least if he does some this, that works. This only works on a simple man. By moon and spear! Still does not get it done. I'll show you who's boss. Now it's going. Actually running out of cards for the first time, but I do have two more shots at hand. This is the first time I would be pretty happy if I had like an mind in hand. Wow, <laughs> he had that combo with that last card. Oh, okay. So I'm gonna do this. I don't know what combos he has with that. It's probably not the greatest combo has been. Anyways. Okay. Like this, yeah. He just kept hitting that thing, kept him going nuts. Don't do it. Thank God. Fifty fifty. Mm. Oh, that was funny. Yeah, if he has a dragon, I can fucking show up. Get the foes. And yeah, so I think it's important. Like, I try to kill those things when I can, especially if they don't have any cards, because you don't know when they're going to drop them. Right? So you kind of want to do it as soon as possible. If you let them decide when they do it, then they're going to do it when they have a dragon. Trades in that goes down to five. I can heal it. That's really good. So this is going to be played or drawn. Oh, maybe not. Maybe that'd be something different. <sighs> Saying smite so good right here. I, I kind of want to save the mind control just for an emergency. I'm all, I'm all of a sudden feeling like I'm going to win. So I'm going to play smite. It looks like I'm going to play the battle this turn. Or I could just do this. Bump. It goes down to six. That's really good. Okay, it's not gonna get better than this. 
This is a devour turn. Oh. Okay, so I think it's still hits. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Let's do that one. I don't really see any reason to do anything like crazy when I just do this. Do you play it into Brawl? <laughs> Even further. No. Why? What reason do I have to play the Brawl? Poor Deathline. Well, Deathline is still. That's okay. That is how you play Priest. So, hope you guys learned something. Subscribe uh, if you want more videos like this. And uh, see you next time.